Bon dia! Welcome back to another episode of Life Reimagined and welcome back to our little piece of paradise. It's been two years since we started this project of living off-grid here on the land and it's only been in the past few months that we really started to um, relax, slow down and be able to really enjoy life here. That's because we have finally put all of the bigger systems into place that um, help us worry a little bit less, simplify our lives um, and enable us to just enjoy it. So in this video, we will talk you through the setup. We've got the systems we have put into place and also the lessons we've learned along the way and also give you a bit of an update on what's been happening on here since our last video. Since March the weather has been nicer again so we've been spending a lot of time outside and we've decided to transform this space here between the mobile home and the yurt that used to be the first vegetable garden that we started into more of a garden area that we can sit and relax and enjoy life in. The first thing we did for this was to build this path here. Um, my mom and me we built it ourselves with locally sourced stones. I think it really helps to visually connect the mobile home and the yurt and it also really helps in the winter with the mud. It's been great to have friends and family over. We hosted my birthday here on the land and it was just amazing to have such a beautiful place to relax with everyone. This area here in the winter we use it as a fire pit area um, to make bonfires and in the summer it just becomes like a really nice lounge and chill out area. Um, very far in the back you might see this wooden tower, that's the rainwater capture um, that we have also improved. It's 2,000 litres of water that we can store there that runs off the, off the roof in the winter. Behind me you can see our terraces and this spring we have started to plant some trees on them. So far we've planted about 70, it's a mix of different fruit and nut trees. And we're planning next winter, as soon as the rain starts again we want to plant a lot more. With the new garden area and also all of the trees that we planted in the spring, we had to find a different solution with where we get all the water from to water them over the summer. As I'm sure you're aware, water is a big topic here in the Algarve and it's something that's very important to think about before buying a property. Um, when we bought this property, we got a borehole drilled, um, but then we never got it connected because of the problems with the building permission. We weren't sure if we wanted to spend the extra money to get it connected. But with my mum moving down here, we decided um, that it was um, finally time to get this connected. So that's what we've done. It cost us about 3,000 euros to get it connected and we also had to get our property connected to the grid because our borehole is so deep we could not use a solar pump. Um, so it was a little bit of more money that we had to spend but it was really worth it to just not have that worry anymore whether or not we're going to have enough water. That problem is now solved and now we can rest peacefully knowing that all of our plants get enough water. We invested into a smart switch, which allows us to control the borehole pump wirelessly. Um, that way we can operate the pump during nighttime hours and it pumps about 2,500 litres every night. That's enough for the water that we need during the day and also to water all of the plants that we have and any excess water just gets stored in our lake. The water we pump out of the borehole gets stored at the top of the hill and then runs down um, through this pipe and we have about 12 meters of difference in height which gives, gives us a really good amount of pressure. One thing we've learned is that you have, if you have bumps in the pipe um, that's where the air in the pipe can get trapped and that really reduces the pressure you get. So what we've done is we've installed valves on every terrace which enables us to just let the air out and that's also where we have now connected the irrigation pipe to in order to irrigate the, the different terraces. This pipe then runs all the way down into the vegetable garden and helps us irrigate that too. And a lot has happened in the vegetable garden. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. 
So the veggie garden is now fully irrigated, making our lives a lot easier. And we've spent the winter months um, raising some of the beds. Uh, last year we had them all very low to the ground, but we noticed that some of the things didn't grow very well, like carrots and beets and things that kind of need to grow down because the soil is so clay, it's just very tough and they can't get down there. So we raised some of the beds and that's really helped with it. And yeah, we planted some trees as well. And you can see in the background our huge sunflowers. We planted a lot of them because they just grow really quick and they make a lot of shade. Um, and the trees help with that as well, just to give this whole area a little bit of shade because it does get really hot in the summer. My mom and me really enjoy working in this space and we already had a few very good harvests and the summer crops are just starting now. So we're looking forward to harvesting them soon. One of the most common questions that we get asked is how do we power all of this? With my mom moving down here, we um, kind of reached the limit of our solar system that we had um, previously with powering extra appliances. So we looked into getting um, connected to the electricity house up there, but it would have cost about two to 3,000 euros to run a wire down here. And to be honest, we really like being off grid. We didn't really want to be connected to the grid. So we decided to rather invest that money into upgrading our solar system. We swapped our old MPP inverter to this GrowWatt system, which can now power 4,000 watts. These 48 volt all-in-one systems are really great and it's powerful enough to run our small fridge, my mom's big fridge freezer combination, um, the pool pump, the water pump for the house, washing machine, laptops, phones, and so much more. It's really great and it's really simple to use. We also upgraded our batteries and we got 16 of these 280 amp hour lithium cells. These now give us around 13,000 kilowatt hours compared to the 3,000 kilowatt hours we got with our previous system with lead acid batteries. We ordered these straight from the factory in China and Jack then assembled and put them all together himself, which helped us to just save a little bit of money on this fairly expensive system. One of the main things that we have learned over the past two years is to really not save on the little tools and things that help to make your life a lot easier and relieve some of the stress and the worry. A very good example for this is the um, Victron shunt that we got for our solar system. Um, because even though the inverter and the batteries both um, tell us the usage or monitor the usage, neither of them are really accurate. And with this shunt that tells us exactly how much electricity we are using. Um, and also because we have the bigger batteries, it means we just don't have to worry anymore about how much we're using and whether we're using too much and damaging our system. So even though upgrading to this system costs us a few thousand euros extra, it's really been worth just not having to worry and having that mental load on your, uh, on your mind to think about have we enough power, is something going to happen? And it's been really, really good and we're very grateful to have made that decision. Another thing we have learned over the last two years is that no matter how good your system is, you always need to have a backup because you never know what's going to happen. And then suddenly if something doesn't work, for example, you don't have any electricity or any water, you're so dependent on it living off grid, then you have a huge problem. That's why we're super happy to have the solar generator from Bluetti, because even if um, there's an emergency, this will help us, allow us to power the most important things here for a few hours, gives us time to sort out, find out what the problem is and solve it. It's also really handy to have around the land because we no longer have to spend a lot of money on cordless power tools, because this little thing has as much power as 10 of these very expensive Makita batteries. We liked it so much, we even got the 120 watt foldable solar panel. This is really easy to use and it's great because we can then charge the solar generator while we're working anywhere on the land and don't run out of power. Or it's also great to take it camping, for example, and then we can charge our laptops or any other devices. Ta-da! So easy. All in all, we really enjoy living here and we made this into a very comfortable space for us to live in. We've learned a lot about ourselves in this process as well. Uh, we picked up a few new skills, so it's been a great experience. I think we've also learned that living off grid is not what we want to do long term. Um, and we still have some hope left to be able to build here on the land. We hope that we have an update on that um, very soon for you. 
as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or you want to tell us anything, just leave them in the comment box below. And yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you.